Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at a new ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4 device. And now this ROM called Wanam Lite for your Samsung Galaxy S4 is going to support your T-Mobile, AT&T, Canadian variants and of course the GT i9-505. Um, if you are actually interested in actually downloading and installing this ROM, which I would actually recommend, it's, it's a pretty good ROM. Uh, one of my you know, one of my favorites of all the TouchWiz ROMs, it's up there. Um, if you want to go and install, I have a link down below for an article and all the download links that you need um, that I'll be showing you in this video. Um, but let's go ahead and get started right away and show you some of the new features that this uh, version 1.4 does include. Um, first thing is let's go into phone and if you go and uh, uh, select contacts, um, you actually have a quick way of actually calling that person. So if I go and try to call myself, um, let me go and select that. If I try to call myself, it'll actually automatically call. And it even has my Google Plus logo, which is pretty cool. Um, so I don't know why that picked up, <laughs> even though I have my SIM card in this one. Um, that was a little bit weird. Um, but that is one of them, and I... I need to remember to block my phone number out <laughs> in the video. Um, so you have a nice uh, quick way of actually having a nice phone call. Um, also, if you go into phone, and let's say I do a random number. Um, I actually was trying this out earlier and making sure it worked. Um, so let me go and do a, uh, one random number. So let's do that. Okay, and let's go and select it. Um, and if this does um, actually you know, pick it up or if it, it's an automated system, uh, let's go on and give it a few seconds. Let's see if it picks up. Um, because you can actually have a call recording on this, which is pretty cool. Um, one of the new neater features. So right here, as you can see, you have a call uh, record button right here, so you can actually record it, um, which is pretty cool. So let me go and hang up, <laughs> just in case that person actually answered the, their phone. <laughs> that would not be a good thing. Um, so as you can see, um, that one you can actually record or yeah, record on both sides. So what they're saying and what you're saying, so having a conversation, which is built in which is very very cool and very neat um, for anyone who does a lot of uh, phone calls <laughs> me personally I used to um, not anymore as that is going very low now not many people use their phone for actually <laughs> phone calls um, you also get um, some pretty cool uh, more um, developer features I guess you could say I'm um, in S tweaks so we're going to take a look at that um, so you have all these CPU scaling and of course you have those uh, current governor so if you go and select this, you have on-demand, conservative. I always recommend you do on-demand. Um, that's what I always recommend. That's why I usually always have a mindset to. Of course, you can go and select whatever you really do prefer from performance to power save to conservative to what you really want. And also you have Android Logger and I.O. and Extras, of course. And in Extras, it's pretty neat. Um, it's good to know only because it gives you the kernel version and the name. So currently, I'm running an Atom kernel made by Wanam. I have a link down below for the kernel too. Um, but I do believe it's already built into this ROM, so you don't need to. But if it's not, um, I'll have a link down below for the same uh, location as the ROM. Um, so you have nothing to worry about that. So you also have um, four-way reboot. So if we go and select the power button, you have four-way reboot. Um, I'm going to go and select restart, and you have all these options. And you also have that data option, so you can turn off your data very easily, airplane mode, of course. Um, so that's a nice new feature as well. Um, you also have, um, let me go and show you, all the bloatware is removed, which is very, very nice. Um, so once you do actually download this ROM, you're going to have to download a big, huge file with all that bloatware. Um, this actually does come with a separate package if you want to install that bloatware, you know, for all the um, remote options and all that. Um, you can actually, for the, you know, the IR blaster and all that, you can actually have an option to flash all those apps, applications actually in there. Um, you also have um, stock keyboard as well, so I actually do prefer this. And you and you all have the note to look for it, so these numbers are on top. So you have all these numbers. So you can you can go into settings if you want, but you don't have an option for your uh, numbers. So you just have symbols, and your numbers are still at the top no matter where you go. It's always going to be there. Much 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 more convenient than actually. Uh, tapping on symbol every time or the number key every single time. Uh, I prefer this much better. And you also have um, support for Samsung keys. I personally never use Samsung keys, but if you're a person who uses Samsung keys, you know, uh, maybe um, for syncing your um, music or applications or whatever, uh, you really do use it, or movies even. Um, this one actually does have support for it. I do know a lot of developers do actually remove this feature as no one really uses it. Um, but if you're one of those rare people who actually do use Samsung keys, um, this is going to be an excellent ROM as you do get support uh, for keys, uh, which is a great plus for this ROM as well. 
Um, but that is what I really need to show you. Not a lot of fancy new stuff, themes, wallpapers, and all that. Um, it just gives you a lot of it, it slims it down, gets all the rid of the garbage, you know, apps and all that bloatware stuff, and gives you some nice new features like call recording and the forward re reboots and all that too. Um, but that's a quick look of one I'm light free Samsung Galaxy S4 Canadian, AT&T, T-Mobile, and of course GT i9 505 LTE International. I'll have a link down below for the ROM. And if you did enjoy this ROM review, be sure to subscribe and like this video by clicking in the bottom left hand corner as it is really how it a lot. And you'll be seeing more of these great ROM reviews for your Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus, and even the Nexus 4. And of course more devices will be coming in the new... new uh, probably in your future <laughs> if more devices are released um but that's look at it thanks for watching guys i will catch you later peace